Hello everyone. This is DSA DMS book, test 9 and module 1. Okay, so today we're going to do odd number question. Okay. The first one P times x minus 2 equals Q times x minus 2. X is variable, it can be any numbers. In this case, this expresses both sides are equals. What's the relation between P and Q? That's the question. Maybe you can solve this way. It goes to zero. So X minus 2 is a common and P and Q inside branches must be equal to zero. But this one can be any numbers because what? All real value of X. X minus 2 always were real value. I'm going to real value times P minus Q that can be zero. This vector should be zero, right? This is zero product property, okay? You understand? Zero product property. So P must be equal to Q, right? That answers. Uh, number three. <clears throat> Here is the right triangle proportion or mean value proportion. Okay, there are just some formula over here. I'm gonna review the formula one more time. This is x, this is y, this is z, this side is a and b. The first one is remember the formula, okay? X squared equals we have to measure from this point, another two intersection over here. A times from here, A times all the way C, okay? So A plus B. So Y square is what? We have to measure from this point to the left, to the right. So this one equals to A times B. G equals X is same thing, okay? B times B plus A or A plus B. That's number one, two, three. And last one. X times G divided by two is there if this triangle so in different ways. A plus B, that is the base times the height and divided by 2. Maybe you can cancel out, doesn't matter, okay? So this is mean value proportion formula, okay? So we're going to use these forms. What is the area of triangle ABD? Where is the ABD? This one, this one, this one. This triangle. Not the entire triangle, okay? So we need to find the value of A over here, okay? So. B is 4, A is what is the 4 times A equals 6 squared is 36 using this form, right? So A equals 9, this side is 9. So what is the area of that triangle? 9 times 6 and divided by 2, right? 27 is the answer. That's number 3. Here is number 5. A band traveled at every speed of D miles per hour. That's the speed. But traveled H hours, they consumed the pure at rate M miles per gallon. So per gallon, they traveled M miles. That's the rate. How many gallons? Okay. So for one gallon, they traveled M miles. This is one gallon, they traveled one mile. I'm sorry, M miles, okay. So we travel this one. Speed D and H our total travel distance equal speed times hour is D times H. That's the total distance. Every M mile they spend by one gallon. So D H over divided by M, that is the number of gallons. Okay, D H over M is the answer, okay? Here is number seven. The average four positive numbers is 50. We have a four positive, one number, two number, three number, four numbers. The average is a 15. The smallest of these number is subtract from the sum. This is sum of the number. I'm going to take this as smallest number. Is I'm going to there A. Okay, using this one, we can set up the equations. Average of this four positive number is 15. What's the average? A plus some of the numbers, the S 
and divide that's four numbers that is equals 50. That's one of the equations. So over here, a plus s equals 60. Because we use two variables, we need one more equation. All right, the next one is smallest one is subtract from the sum. Smallest one is subtract from so s minus a, that is equals right 48. That's another equation. S minus a, I'm going to a is first. Okay, minus a plus s equals 48. So we're going to find average of these three numbers. We're going to find the value of s, right? You can add this. How much is this one? S plus s is what? 2s equals 108. s equals what? 54, isn't it? But this is the sum of three numbers. So average is what? 54, that's three numbers there, 18 is the answer, okay? Number nine, okay, which of the following is solution to the equation here? So you can use, okay, completing the squares. So a pair of terms, x minus two, that's a complete the square already. Plus one both sides six. From here you can find the value of x. X minus two is plus minus six. Okay, I'm sorry. Plus minus square root six. That's it. So plus two both sides. X equals what? Plus two and plus two. Two plus minus square root six is this. Okay. All right. So where is it? Choice C is possible solution. Here's the number 11 of it. In the equation above, A is a constant, and if the equation is true for all value of x, that is also what? The equation is identical. Identical means the left and right side expressions should be equal. Okay? This is very popular, right? This is equation. Okay, what is the value of A? Both side expressions must be equal, right? Where is A? Okay, you can express it. 7x plus 7a, 2 times x squared, and minus 2a equals 2x squared, 7x plus 20. Okay. This is 2x squared, same thing. x term is how much? Where are x terms? 7x over here. 7x. Still equal. Now, constant term over here, right? 7a minus 2a is 5a, that is equals to 20. Yeah? So the value of a equals 4 is the answer, okay? Or you can check out only what? Constant term over here, 20. How can you find the constant term on your, on your right, uh, left hand side? 7 times a is a constant term, plus minus 2a is a constant term, that is equals to 20, right? You can take right only constant terms out, okay? Here's the number 15. Product of two positive integers is 100. So you can use product, you can use your product too. Use two variables, it doesn't matter. The first one is A equals twice the second one, two times B and 10 more. You will have two equations over here. What is the value of large integers? This is a large integer, right? A is a large integer because that is what 2b plus 10. Okay, because b is a positive integer. Okay. Okay, how can you find a? Replace b into the a there, okay? A times from here. 2b. Mm, okay, I'm gonna do this way. Okay. Express this is first. I'm going to find right A. So this is B equals to 100 over A. And that is better, okay? Put this number in the equation, okay? A equals 2 times B is 100 over A and plus 10. So that is 200, right? So times A both sides, A square equals 200 plus 10A. And uh, one side is zero, okay? Standard form. A, a squared minus 10a, 
and minus 200 equals 0, isn't it? What are these two numbers? And we have 5 times 2, 20, 10 times 20, right? This is 10 times 20. So two numbers, I'm sorry. So two numbers is a 10 and 20. But this is a minus, this is a negative sign, okay? So a minus 20 and a plus 10 equals 0, right? This is a factorable. It's a little bit confused. You have to use your quadratic formula, okay? All right. So from here, a equals 20 and a equals negative 10, right? But this is not working, that is negative. So a equals 20 to 10, zero, okay? Here is number 17. So which of the following equation, the system of equations with no solution? No solution, what is that? Parallel lines. When you have a graph, you are parallelized. That means the slope is equal, this slope to is equal, equals, and different y-intercept. But in standard form, you understand this one, okay? A1, x plus uh, b1, y equals c1, and the other one is a2, x plus b2, y equals c2. When you have standard form, no solution is about parallel, right? So what is that? a1 over a2 equals b1 over b2, that means what the lines are parallel, but different y-intercept not equal to c1, c2. That's the formula, right? In the tips, you can find right, the formula in the tips, okay? All right. So which one is to satisfy this one? 1 over 2 equals 2 over 3. That's wrong. They're not parallel. 1 over 2 equals negative 2 over 4 is what, still 1 over 2, right? This is what, 2 over 3, right? 4 over 6 is 2 over 3. This is equal, that is not equal, right? So choice B is the answer, okay? All right, number 17. In a survey conducted by a health organization, 200 in a large metropolitan area will ask about their weekly exercise routines. Okay, they said the average exercise routine is about 45 minutes. Because that's the sample, right? 45 minutes. But there's some error because that is a sample, right? Yeah, for the survey, they choose what some sample, okay? So plus minus five. So maximum is 50, minimum is around the 40, something like this one. But not exactly the same number, right? So just we can say estimation, right? So between 40 and 50, right? Choice D is then. So this is what margin of error, okay? Or sometimes margin error. Here is the number 21. So we have an XY plan and Y equal we have quadratic. The other one is, uh, okay, this two, uh, this quadratic graph is a pass through one, three and negative five, okay? So this is a positive, right? Reading coefficient is positive, so negative five, oops, negative five, and three is the graph, right? Op open up world, looks like this, okay? So what is the value of Q? What is this one? Q is what? When x equals zero, okay? Y to Q, that's right, accurate, I'm sorry. Maybe this one, okay, X score zero will be, right? That's Y intercept, intersection with Y axis. Okay, how can we find Y intersections? Take a look here. This one can be obtained by factor the form. What is factor the form? X plus five, and x minus 3 is a factor. That is equals to p squared plus px plus q, isn't it? I'm sorry, x squared. That's right. 
that must be exactly the same graph because the coefficient of leading coefficient is equals to one, right? Yeah. If this is a, this is one. Okay. So what is the value of p? p is what coefficient of x, right? How can you find coefficient of x? That is like a negative three x inside five x. That is equals to p x. Okay. So two x equal p x. Equals what? Two is this, okay? Here is your number 23. Jenny sold K reptops in 2018. The number of reptops she sold 2019 is 150% greater than 2018, right? So I'm going to use reptile number is Y equals initial is Y0. Okay, I'm going to okay, left that product number p equals p0 times 150 greater than 1 plus 1.5, right? That's greater than the others previously, right? Yeah, that's the equation. Okay. Okay, and the number of tops she sold 2020 is 35% uh, greater than 2009. So the next one is how much? That is okay. Every year, right? Increased by. I'm gonna this one this way. Okay. Yeah. Oh, this is K already. Okay. The next year, 2019 is so 1.5 grade. This okay. So that is one plus 1.5. 2019 is 35 percent grade. Then this. So one other one. One plus 35 percent point 35. That's it, right? That's this. So k times okay is right, all the way to behind. So k times 2.5 and times 1.35 is this. Okay. Choice B is this. Number 25. Very popular, right? Uh, typical level five questions. Yeah. The graph of y equals f of x is given. This is y equals f of x given. So g of x equals 2 times f of x minus 2 is about 2 units to the right. But anyway, we're going to find what the value of right, the equation of f of x. This slope is what 2 over 4 is what? Slope is negative slope, right? 1 over 2, isn't it? 2 over 4 is negative 2. y intercept is what 2? So the equation of this one, y equal f of x, must be equals negative 1 over 2x and plus 2, right? Put this number up here. So g of x equals to 2 times f of x minus 2. Instead of x, replace with x minus 2, right? Okay, prob here, x minus 2 over here. So, two times negative 1 over 2, x minus 2, and plus 2, right? And plus 8, isn't it? All right. So, simplify. Oh, just write, put this number x equal 0, okay? Because we don't need to simplify x equal 0. So negative 1 over 2, x equals 0 minus 2 plus 2 and plus 8. So 2 times negative 1 over 3 is positive 1 plus 2 is what? 3, right? And plus 8. That equals to 40. Alright? So it's this answer. Okay. Here is the number 27. Laboratory technicians had 200 grams of salt solutions. This one total volume is 200 grams of solution, but 15% concentration, okay? A salt is what? 15% of this one, 200 times 15%. That is equals what? 30 grams is salt there, okay? And increase the concentration of solution to, this one is actually 15%, but when it increased to 20%, put it here, right? We're going to write salt. We're going to put in the salt, X gram salt over there. Total number of salt is how much now? 30 plus x. That is total number of salt. What is the entire volume? Still, total volume is 200, and this will increase by x, okay? 
200 plus x. That is equal to 20% is about 2, any over 100. That is 20%. You have to solve this one. Answer out. Oh, you can simplify 1 over 5. It doesn't matter. Okay, I'm going to use 2 over 10. Cross multiplication. 300 plus 10x equals 400 plus 2x. Minus 2x both sides, that is 8x. Minus 300 both sides, that is 100, right? Okay. So value of x is, what is it? 12.5, okay? So we can put this salt 12.5 grams in this solution. So solution percent solution must be 20%, okay? Okay. Okay, that's all today, okay? I'll see you uh, majority in next video, okay? Thank you.